you guys have always been been that way with with the girls I've dated. If I'm happy, yeah, and he's dated some real crazy ones. <laughs> you can't say, you cannot say that. <laughs> what if they watch? Or what if they're gonna watch? They're gonna, they can understand this video. Hey guys, eu tô aqui mais uma vez com meus pais que vocês já conheceram no outro vídeo. Um, e hoje o tema do vídeo é o que eles acham sobre eu casando com uma brasileira. Ok, so, first I want to, first you guys can say hi. Hello! <laughs> it's been a while since you've been on the channel. Yes. To the bone! So, this video, I just wanted to, a lot of people have been asking me, uh, what's your opinion about me marrying a Brazilian? Are you getting married? <laughs> okay. When did you guys decide to get married? We did not know, Brian. Uh, they're so funny. So, what you guys think of me, me dating a Brazilian and then ending up marrying a Brazilian? And uh, do you guys remember when I first told you that I was seeing um, a Brazilian? It was when I was living in Taiwan. So, what were your kind of first reactions when I first told you that I was dating a Brazilian? I thought it was very interesting. I I think we had a discussion about you were you were falling for her and whether. That was a good thing because it, you know, you were in different countries. Yeah. Well, it wasn't just that we were, we were from different countries. It was that she was leaving to go to a different country. Mm -hmm. So I remember that conversation, and you were like, "Well, just be careful." <laughs> well, I didn't want you to get hurt. Yeah. yeah. Dad, what was your what was your first reaction? It's been a long time, but I think uh, I think I was pleased uh, that I anyone would would enter into a relationship with you. Uh, I was happy for that. Is that funny, Mom? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so after you got over the initial happiness that somebody would actually date me, what did you think? It's <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I was pleased. I was very pleased. You told me about her. Uh -huh. uh, you, told, you told me she was very intelligent. Uh, you talked about how intelligent uh, she was before you talked about how beautiful she was. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was very pleasantly surprised when I first saw Michelle because not only is she very intelligent, uh, she's also very beautiful. Okay, easy. She's, she's all right. right? <laughs> okay, so did you guys have any... Another question I get a lot is, is were there anything... Were there any, like, uh, stereotypes or preconceived notions um, about Brazilians? that you had before you met Michelle, anything that changed after you met her, what were your kind of, what did you think about Brazilians, did you have any idea about what they were like before you met her, because she was really the first, maybe the second or third Brazilian that you've yeah, ever met. Trans. We, I, have one, I had one friend in high school who was from Brazil, but really the first person you spent extended periods of right, time with. Right. I didn't really have any preconceived notions. I didn't know that much about Brazilians. Mm -hmm. um, in the whole scheme of things, it doesn't seem like there are many, that many difference, differences between us, you know, Americans and Brazilians. Yeah. yeah. All right. So nothing stood out, like you didn't have any ideas about what Brazilians were like? Oh, I immediately <clears throat> looked up the distance between Denver and Carichula <laughs> because I wanted to know how far away you were going to be moving in case you left them. I knew you were moving to Brazil, I think. I, I don't know if I remember. No, not at the, not no, at the beginning. Initially, eventually. initially, you weren't. But anyway, what I did is, is I looked to see how far Brazil was from Colorado. Uh, I started looking at uh, information about Brazil because, honestly... I didn't know a lot about Brazil other than the normal things you learn as a student. So, uh, you know... Which, uh, which are? Which are that it's bigger than the United States, it's bigger than the continental United States. Mm -hmm. The Amazon rainforest is a part of Brazil. I knew that the World Cup was going to be in Brazil. I knew that the Olympics were going to be in Brazil. So Brazil was coming... coming it was uh, in the news a lot. Coming to my attention in news articles. But I, I started looking for information about Brazil. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, the more I found out about Brazil, the more I really liked Brazil. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in Brazil that are very good. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I was happy that you were marrying someone or meeting someone and dating someone and getting serious about someone from Brazil. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, the only things I really knew about Brazil was uh, Rio and um, Macaws and the Amazon, mm. you know, and maybe soccer. Kind of the stereotypical yeah, stuff that yeah, you pretty hear much, about. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. 
So, and Dad, you mentioned too that uh, Michelle and I met in Taiwan. So when I told you that I was going to move to Brazil after that, what did you guys think? I thought it would be an awesome opportunity to take a trip to Brazil <laughs> to visit you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we were going to visit you in Taiwan, but you didn't stay there long enough. So. No. Yeah, we wanted to visit you in Taiwan, but you weren't there long enough. Uh, so, yeah. were, you, were you guys ever worried that I wasn't going to come back? Yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah. Maybe for a minute. Maybe for a minute I worried you wouldn't come back. And I still worry that you might find a good job opportunity down there and move and then... But, you know, if, but if, I, if, if, if it, it makes you happy... If then. anybody's out there, if you need Yes, if anyone's, <laughs> anyone in Brazil is looking for a YouTube personality, <laughs> you can hire my son. Um, okay, so now let's get into what you thought when... Uh, when because when I was in Brazil, I, I moved down there for Michelle, and obviously you guys had to kind of start thinking, okay, mate, this is probably, this is getting pretty serious, um, and then I stayed there longer than a year, and then I came back, and then Michelle came. So you guys kind of had an idea where the relationship was going. Mm -hmm. So what, was, what were your initial thoughts about you know, having, having a daughter, a Brazilian daughter-in-law? I don't know if we can separate out. I mean, we really like Michelle. We love Michelle, so I don't think we can separate out while well, she's Brazilian. I mean, that doesn't even really come into play. It's just she's Michelle, and, you know, and her family's really nice. And I really you know, love Michelle's family. Yeah. They're very, very good people. So there wasn't any, like... We were not scared or worried at all. That's good. I was never worried. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michelle. <laughs> you guys have always been been that way with with the girls I've dated. If I'm happy, yeah, and he's dated some real crazy ones. <laughs> you can't say he cannot say that. <laughs> what if they watch? What if they're gonna watch? They're gonna they can understand this video. Sorry, <laughs> that's gonna get edited out for sure. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, no, but you guys have always been supportive of who I've dated. Well, yeah, and as long as. Yeah. yeah, and we've 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 liked everyone you've dated. Yeah, I think um, there are probably some other families who might have reacted a little bit differently, but I think overall, you know, it's not it's not that big a deal. Like it, like you said, it's more important who she is than where she's from. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, I, I think it's really cool that you've learned a different language. Something that I'm kind of jealous the, the, of. One of the positive, one of the most positive parts of this whole experience is that you got to live in another country, you got to experience another culture, another language, um, and another hemisphere, if you will, another climate. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it was very good. Uh, people who have a worldview make for much more solid and stable individuals in the present world that we live in. I agree. Yeah. And, you know, it only took me two, three times moving to a different country to, to learn the language. And you can thank Michelle for that. Yeah. Does, it, does it make you nervous that your grandkids are going to be able to talk, no, I talk to each other awesome. in Portuguese? No, we'll, le we'll learn enough to get by. All right. Yeah. Are you, you going to have grand, we're going to have Portuguese grandkids? The well, grandkids no, they're, they're, that speak Portuguese? Brazilian they're they're going to be American okay. grandkids, but they'll speak Portuguese. Portuguese, yay! Hopefully, no. I think that's another question that a lot of people ask us: is is are we going to try to teach our kids Portuguese? And I actually know another couple in the U.S. He's American, she's Brazilian. They live here, and they just speak Portuguese to their kids. So he he knows Portuguese, oh, and that's, that's cool. how they at home they speak Portuguese, and then obviously they go off to school, or they you know in the rest of their lives they. That probably is probably the best way to do it. Yeah, I think conversationally, that's that's a good way to do it. Um, and I also know somebody who grew up in the U.S. until he was um, high school age, and then moved back to Brazil, and he speaks English like an American and Portuguese like a Brazilian. So obviously, that's the ideal situation. So um, that's all the questions I, I wanted to ask you. Is I think okay. I think when's the wedding? <laughs> Yeah, when is the wedding? You guys haven't gotten your invitation <laughs> yet? We have not gotten an invitation to the wedding at this point. Uh, but you guys, you guys are going to come to the wedding. Maybe, you know, a, we oh, have to look at our calendar. <laughs> I know you guys are excited. We are very excited. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be a good time. This will be your second time in Brazil. Yeah, we'll see you all in Brazil in December. Well, not all of them, but... Well, 
If any of you guys see them walking down the street in Brazil, stop them and say hello. You guys will feel... We will say okay. hello back. <laughs> <laughs> então, gente, espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo. Espero que vocês tenham uma boa semana e tchau, tchau. Tchau. tchau.